So it's important to stay hydrated, especially when you're on the road, you're in warmer climates. I asked Chris to put in a water filtration system because he knows I'm such a water snob. It's gonna save us in the long run from buying multiple bottles of water. So we are going to be putting in a clear source ultra premium RV filtration system. It is a three canister system with a virus guard. So we're also going to be putting in an H2O mobile soft water system, which is a water softener that will be after the canister filter. So we'll be putting in the triple filter first, and then we're going to be putting in the water softener. So all water coming into our rig will have filtration and softening, which should make a big difference to make sure that we don't get calcium buildup in our rig. Especially since we're living in it full time. Currently right now, Chris has a RV water filter going from this bigot to our water hose into our RV. But the quality of that water taste is not there. So this is why Chris is putting in this water filtration system. As Martha said, water snob problems. So I'm pre-fitting all of the water stuff before it goes in. I wanna to try to uh, make it a little easier on myself. I got an idea of where I wanna put it in the bay and how I wanna mount it. So I wanna test to make sure everything will fit appropriately. Everything that we got, we got off of Amazon. We're gonna be putting in a save a drop, which although we're not gonna be using it for saving, we wanna see how much water we have going through the system. It'll have two purposes for us, one when we, hook up we can see how much water we use so we have an idea of what's in our tanks the other thing is we could turn off all water and see if anything's flowing which can identify a leak as well i bought a small 25 foot hose we're going to sacrifice lots of adapters in order to connect it because our water inlet from the faucet at the site will come in here it'll run through the filtration system it'll go through the outlet it'll go into the water softener out of the water softener and then into our nautilus panel you're gonna to need to be doing a lot of cutting on the hose to make the different links that we need. I decided to just use a half inch hose. We're only running about 40 to 50 PSI of pressure, so a half inch should be fine. Both the clear source and the water softener are rated over 100 PSI, so we'll never push that much pressure through our RV. So the smaller diameter shouldn't restrict any of the flow in our All right, I see the first thing I'm gonna change already. <laughs> I'm not happy with the hose fittings that we have. Let me show you. So I just bought these inexpensive plastic fittings, which are the hose clamps. And as soon as I try to clamp it down, the screw pulls out. So. These come in and they clamp, and as you see, the screw pulls out. So I'm gonna to have to run to the store and go get some brass or something metal. These plastic ones are not gonna work. I'm not gonna take the chance of having plastic underneath our egg. As we all know, water is a horrible situation. Yeah, these aren't gonna work with the dam. So we just got back from Walmart and we found the metal fittings that I was looking for. You see on the left right here is the plastic one that we had before and on the right is the same thing but in a brass or bronze or copper but basically it's a metal fitting so plastic metal we didn't want to do plastic just because we're worried about the chances of cracking deterioration the quality is not that good and that's why we ended up getting it for about a dollar <laughs> when we initially bought it. Uh, one other thing, if you'll notice, is the diameter is quite a bit different. So the plastic one is for a half inch hose. The metal one on the right is for a 5 eighths inch hose. So the hose that I bought and started splicing earlier, which is the half inch hose, garbage. 
<laughs> wasted money. This is a half inch water hose, drinking water safe water hose that I'm gonna use. And for the sake of not wasting, I am gonna save these as a uh, last ditch resort if I need them in an emergency. They don't take up much space and they're super lightweight and it's good to be able to splice a hose if something happens. Right now I'm trying to figure out how to exactly I want to configure this. Obviously there's enough room in here to make this work. It's just a matter of doing it so that it's well supported and if anything does happen that it's easily accessible and if there's leaks or anything I can keep an eye on it. I gotta be mindful that I've got a light over here. Uh, the end caps of this hole are just lightweight plastic so they're not load bearing. If I put it on there, it would probably go through the floor. I'm thinking my best solution right now is going to be to put the canisters on this side and then maybe I'll put the water softener on this side. I got to leave from here to here open because this is my access panel for behind my Nautilus system. And of course I got a light here. So I hooked up the outlet on the clear source and now I'm going to put in I'm gonna put in our water softener. The water softener is directional, so you gotta be careful to make sure that the in and the out are going in the right direction. I'm wondering if I'm cross-threading this thing, because I'm having a lot of time, I'm having a hard time. You wanna take it out and do it out there? Gonna have to. I was having a really hard time threading this in there and I got to be super careful that I don't cross thread it. It is not threading right. Okay, so I had to pull this thing out because in here I wasn't getting a good bite on the threads and I was really concerned about cross threading it being that it's a plastic in and a plastic out. So I took it out, grabbed the uh, pair of pliers, gently put it on, made sure it's seated well. Same thing with this side, made sure it's seated well. So now I'm going to put it on the uh, outlet side of the triple filter. This one's metal on metal, even though it's got a plastic um, turn knob on it. The white, which you see, is plastic, but everything underneath is actually metal. So it looks like I, <laughs> I shorted my hose. Ah! Here. We can do that. You, can you reach in and push it over your way? Use the force. Can you shove that back my way? Keep going. So I've decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this right side against the wall. Instead of having it take up two thirds of the bay, I can make it a little bit of a tighter fit here and then just make it so it's removable. So I'm gonna shorten trying to figure out how exactly I want to do this so that it shortens it and makes it a little bit better so it doesn't kink. 
I'm sure some of you are wondering why I don't just put it outside or set it up on a removable system. Uh, Mobile H2O doesn't recommend that the water so softener be exposed to UV or be outside. And I feel the same way kind of about the uh, clear source. Just don't want it to be outside even if it's rated. I think being in here tucked away safe, it'll keep it from uh, growing legs and walking away when we're not at the campsite. And also I think it'll keep it so that I can keep an eye on it and make sure that it stays in good condition. I will say that I'm going to get a quick disconnect for this because I can see already that this is going to leave a little bit of water as I drip it or drag it in and out. So we'll get a di quick disconnect so that I can leave it on here and that way when we move it in and out of the bay, we won't have to worry about any of the water. So Martha put me on timeout. Man cave. Man, is that what we're going with? I call it timeout. As Martha said, I'll crawl out of the man cave. <laughs> All right, I'm opening up the canisters for the first time. I want to make sure the filtration's in there, make sure there's no packing plastic. There is definitely a filter. It looks like it seats down there. Some type of particulate filter. Luckily, the clear source comes with a filter wrench. Makes it really easy. This says hydronics on it. It's definitely a more dense filter. Don't know the science behind it. Martha will link it down below in the description so you can see. And a third filter. Wish me luck. I'm gonna turn on the water for the first time. Martha, you wanna go over there in case it explodes and you can catch all the fun? If it does, scream and then I'll uh, shut it off. All right, for what it's worth, folks, I've got the water pressure turned down to 20 PSI just to be safe as we started. I didn't want to take any chances with major leaks. I can hear the water running through the system. I'm going to give it a minute, let it pressurize. It is definitely filling up the water softener. I'm not just cuddling with Martha's new baby. Martha, can you go turn on the kitchen sink. Let's see how the water is doing. Okay, we have water. So I'm going to let Christopher know. So we have water inside. And we have a small leak outside. I caught a small leak on the back side, which is the inlet side of the water softener. I'm trying to tighten the valve, and it's not anything that I did. It's on the part from the factory. I'm making sure that it doesn't continue to leak. I'm still seeing a drip. Dry it off and give it a minute and see what happens. I had a little bit of a gap on the stud that was going into the water inlet just a little tighten and it looks like it worked good all right nothing looking good okay so we adjusted this got the leak fixed i turned the pressure up to 45 psi because i had initially turned it down to 20 just to run it low to see uh, checked it at 45 everything's good we're going to go ahead and leave the pressure at that point so now i'm going to secure these so when we're driving i don't have to move them in the future we can leave them as is so you saw me install the uh, water filtration system and the hose clamps that came with it are crap. Uh, no way around it. They won't tighten down enough and I'm getting leaks. I'm going to be replacing them with a hose clamp that's about 50% larger uh, that we picked up over at Lowe's. So you see this is the factory one on the right that came with the 
hose splice. This is the one that we're going to be replacing it with quite a bit better quality and a lot bigger. And they're only a dollar. So <laughs> yeah, for a dollar to not have this happen on a regular basis is well worth it because this is what we were having on the inside. All the water stopped very quick replacement and now all the water leaking has stopped so we'll be able to pressurize the system and make sure there's no other issues one of the things i'm putting on is a quick disconnect this will make it easier for us to set up and break down camp good thing is they've got directions they drew me a picture pull to release so you pull that down this pops out it's like magic So I put a 90 degree elbow on here just to make the input a little bit easier. So I'm going to add the back side of the quick disconnect that I just put in. I did that just so that there wasn't a lot of pressure on this intake portion. The 90 makes it a little bit easier and I don't have to mess with the threads. Now that we've got the quick disconnect in place, should be able to just do like that. We'll go pressurize the system and see if it leaks. So as you can see, we put the uh, triple filter in on the back and this is the inlet main water hose uh, where we put the quick connect on. Uh, that runs through all three filters in, out of the three filters into the water softener. Out of the water softener, we were getting a little bit of a pinch point here. So Martha actually had the idea of putting a flexi hose here. So we put the little flexi piece, we shortened this so that we, we have a nice swoop and we don't have any pinch points at all coming in on the water. Uh, we're gonna pressurize the system now and we'll record how this goes. Stop, turn it off. Wah, wah, wah. Well, that didn't work out. Take three, we'll see how this goes. Yep. Turn it off. All right, obviously we've got a problem with this valve. We're gonna let it run for a minute to depressurize so I don't have to wear it again. But this piece is a um, male out on the plastic piece, a female in, and then a dual, then a female in. Apparently, based on what I can see, it's leaking right in between this coupler, which is supposed to allow that to connect, so. I'm gonna let it run, soak it up, and once the pressure's out of it, I'll uh, go to the store and go get a new one. All right, we're all up and pressurized. Everything went good. I had to use the uh, KISS method, and for those who don't know, that's keep it simple, stupid. I was having leaks right here at this valve point, and I was getting ready to go replace it, and then I thought a little bit used my brain and decided I wanted to check one more thing. So I'll show you what that one thing was. So I was having problems at the uh, that little junction point on the water softener and it turns out all it was was these little hose seals. They're rubber seals that go into all hoses and they stop the water from coming out or at least <laughs> when they're applied correctly. Um, I don't mind admitting the truth, I did two stupid things. First thing I did was over tighten them, which you can see uh, it is really smashed, so not in very good shape. Uh, the second thing that I screwed up, let's see if this shows up here. This side is flat, that side has ridges. So you want to make sure that you point this in the direction of whatever's attaching to it. So the flat, got, the flat side goes back and flush, the ridge side goes out or the water inlet side, and then not over tightening made all the difference in the world. So I replaced two rings and problem solved. Um, one of the things that I do keep with us when we travel is a bag, here we go, a bag of hose seal gaskets. Um, 
they're little rubber gaskets. I bought the whole thing on Amazon. I think it's probably a pack of like 30. So we have success. We are pressurized. We have triple filtration. We have the water softener. And now Martha has her trailer Avion because you know she's bougie and she's all about that fresh water life. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy my snobby water. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Honey, we are out of my snobby water. Oh my God. When your wife wants snobby water, you go to the next best thing, Travion. It's like Avion, but for your trailer.